I want to talk real quick about some of my favorite reasons or some of the best reasons I feel like there are to become a stripper. These are probably universal, especially after getting some feedback in my group about it and from researching psychology. Some of the best reasons, these are just obvious ones, so maybe not obvious to everybody. Some of the best reasons to become a stripper are time freedom, being able to work for yourself whenever you want, pretty much wherever you want. That's a really good one. That's a really important one. I can work anywhere in the country. And if one club turns me down in one city, the next club in that city probably is not gonna turn me down. Plus, regardless of what you look like, it's extremely important to take care of yourself for your own mental capacity, for your physical capacity, and even if you're out of shape really bad right now, there are ways that you can get into shape. I know I keep bringing this topic up and I think it's just because I know how much better it feels to be in shape than to be out of shape. You're gonna make more money, you're gonna feel better about yourself, you're gonna have more confidence, your mental capacity is gonna be way better. There's just a lot of reasons to stay in shape, They're really, or to get in shape. Some other reasons for becoming a stripper that I think are the best possible reasons is independence, financial independence in particular. As we get older, I think it's especially for women, I mean definitely for women, as we get older, it's more and more important to be making your own money. Something that you do not want to be worried about is, like, I'm going to use this as a real fucking example. This is a real example, and I am saying this from a spot of certainty because I know a Latina chick that has told me this. She is in finances, this bitch is amazing, and she has told me that literally when she was in Mexico doing finances in Mexico, women there seriously look at men as their financial strategy. And granted, strippers sort of do also, um, but in the short term. I'm talking these girls are looking at men as a financial strategy for their life, okay? That's not healthy. <laughs> That's not healthy, that's not a way to make you feel secure in life. Um, you need to be able to make your own money. And I've said this before in a video about dating. If you're dating somebody and they you know, tell you that they don't like what you do and they wanna take care of you, and that just means pay your bills and get you the stuff that you need, that is not good enough. In my opinion, that's not good enough. You need to be making money because you need to be stashing it. You need to be putting it away. Just having somebody pay your bills is not gonna fucking cut it. Now, if you have somebody paying your bills, it's also paying off your debt. Maybe that's one thing while you're you know, working on a, a different job, working on a business. Um, we actually had a girl in the group start talking about this recently. Um, so, you know, in certain cases, sure, but if you just have a guy that wants to just pay your bills so that you can scrape by, I just don't think that's good enough um, because time is going to keep passing, you're going to keep getting older, and you, eventually you're going to want to have your own resources, not just one resource that's paying your bills. You need to be able to invest so that you can get your ass out of the work world. And ultimately, investing is where it's at. According to Rich Dad Poor Dad, which is a book that I think pretty much every entrepreneur I've ever met has read, talks about the four different quadrants of where you can be when it comes to the work world. One's an employee, one's self-employed, which is what we are. One is a business owner, and one is an investor. An investor is ultimately where it's at. You want your money to be working for you not you working for your money. You want your money to work for you while you're sleeping. That's ultimately where it's at. So another reason to be a stripper is so that you can stack cash. 
so that you can invest it into something because investing is incredibly important. It's incredibly important to be able to get your ass to financial freedom, which is where I want you to be, which is where I know you want to be. My fucking phone, man. It's been so hot everywhere. I know it's going to overheat if I leave it up there. That's so annoying. Um... Uh, another reason why to be financially independent is because you don't have to work when you don't want to or to become a stripper is because you don't have to work when you don't want to I have I woke up this morning not feeling very good my stomach didn't feel good I still don't feel very good and instead of going to work I'm gonna go to an organic restaurant and I'm gonna get some organic tequila with some organic citrus and you know you might not say that that's the healthiest drink to get while you're not feeling well but I have some work on my computer that I want to do I want to relax and I want to enjoy this amazing organic restaurant so being able to do whatever you want whenever you want is a really good thing another part of that though which is it's not bad it's certainly not bad but being your own boss you're your own boss if you don't go to work if you don't want to go to work no one's gonna make your ass go to work you've got to do it you have to decide no one's gonna decide it for you so being disciplined is something it's a it's something you'll acquire while you are a stripper because you have to You'll have to, or you could just keep floating and, you know, spending a little bit uh, or making a little bit of money and then spending it and then making a little bit of money and spending it and making a little bit and spending it. But after you do that for enough years, you'll realize, what the fuck am I doing? Why am I wasting my time doing this? I really need to make something happen with this cash. And eventually you'll get there. I hope that you get there sooner rather than later because it'll just make you happier and you'll get further in life a lot faster, a lot faster than I did. I did exactly that I just wanted to travel so I busted my ass and I traveled and then I busted my ass and I traveled and I busted my ass and I traveled and seven years later I was like what the fuck I was like I haven't say I did save some money but man I not enough to not enough to get me out didn't invest it in anything that got me anywhere significant I felt better that I had I invested some money in silver and gold which you know, really helped me out a lot later because I ended up needing that money later. But I've reinvested it and whatever. What other reasons are there to be a stripper? What are some other good reasons? Oh, my phone's not that hot. What are some other good reasons to be a stripper? Um, so the one about, about financial independence is that's the most important one. When you are making your own money, you're not going to feel like you need anybody. They call it fuck you money. Like, you know what I'm talking about when you, but I don't have fuck you money and probably nobody listening to this channel has fuck you money yet. The goal, of course, is to get there, which hopefully will happen for all of us. Um, but other reasons to be an entertainer travel you can start to travel your fucking face off if you want that was the main reason why I wanted to become a stripper is because I wanted to do fun shit I was so afraid of living a normal boring life that I just I couldn't stand the thought of it so I became a stripper and hey what do you know I've been able to travel more than basically anybody I know well I, I know a lot of entrepreneurs that are doing really well for themselves to travel all the fucking time now but at the time at least for the first three or four years I could travel more than anybody I knew so let's see I think that's probably good enough uh, for, re for right now for the reasons why I think it's a great idea to become a stripper I mean you can pay off your debt you can get yourself out of some super bad situations you can stack enough money to invest it in things to get you out of the rat race there are a lot of reasons to just say fuck it and give it a try because so many girls like if you think for a minute 
that anybody, well, I mean, there, I'm sure there are a couple of girls that were like, oh, this is exactly what I want to do. I'm so excited, you know, blah, blah, blah. No, most girls start off scared and desperate. So if that's you, I promise you, your story is not unique. And there's, I mean, I'm sure your story is unique. I'm not saying that it's not. I'm just saying that in general, people in general, um, we, is this a parking spot? People in general, girls in general are fucking scared, okay? I was nervous. Um, I wasn't scared. But I was definitely nervous. I was like, what are you doing? Are you really going to do this? Why would you go do this? And all I could think about was because I am sick of waiting fucking tables. I'm sick of waiting on somebody for two hours for pocket change. Like, you know, fuck the bullshit. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't believe in the system. I don't think they're going to save me. I don't think that going to school is going to help. I think it's going to dig me into a shit ton of debt and I'm going to end up leaving school, not wanting to do what I went to school for in the first place. And I couldn't think of anything that I wanted to do long term. Nothing. I was like, why? Like, how is it even possible to pick one career and stick with that same job for the rest of your life? Wouldn't you be so bored you'd want to kill yourself? Personally, I think so. Which is another reason why I think it makes perfect sense to become an investor because you have infinite possibilities of things that you can invest in, including startups. You know, if you want to go that route, you could invest in startups. And that seems like a crapshoot, but you know, maybe not some of them, you know, maybe not some of them, hopefully not a lot of them. Anyway, there are tons of reasons to say fuck it and get started. There are so many girls that have had so many reasons why not to start stripping. Family, religion, they, they're not in shape, they're, they're not the right color, they're not the, the right, they don't have the right personality, mental issues, physical issues, all kinds of shit all kinds of shit and the girls that get started have told me that their biggest regret is not starting sooner they were afraid and they just didn't want to do it and some people put it off for years and then finally they say fuck it and just go for it and typically it's probably out of desperation and you know why let yourself get to the point of desperation before you finally give in and try it Especially because being in a desperate state of mind doesn't make it as easy to start. When you're doing okay, but you're like fucking sick of your life and you're sick of putting up with other people's bullshit and you're just sick of reality, like you just want something different. Personally, I would bet, because this is where I was at, that it's easier to start that way. Because I wasn't, I wasn't scared, I wasn't terrified. Um, I was nervous, but I wasn't desperate, desperate. So I think that if you go in not being desperate, desperate, it might be easier for you to start. But even if you're desperate, desperate, that's even a better reason to just start. Just do it. <laughs> Just do it. Get it over with. Just go. Pretend like it's a dare. I dare you. I dare you to go try out at a strip club. I fucking dare you to. And if you go on this dare, you have to message me and you have to tell me that you did it. And tell me your and tell me what happened. And just go in with the impression I'm just doing this as a dare. This is just a random circumstance that I'm just going to go do. It's going to be a random experience that I'm going to have. Maybe you'll love it, maybe you'll hate it. But even if you hate it, at least you'll know you hate it and you'll have gotten it over with and you can stop. You can stop wondering about it anymore. You can just be like, okay, I tried it, I don't like it. Or you might end up doing it and you might end up fucking loving it. Either way, it's only one way to find out. It's only one way to find out and I hope you go do it and I hope you go do it soon. Go do it soon. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Ciao.